The automation of labor seems to be the big issue that everybody wants to talk about and the one that a lot of people feel is going to be the big change in the next little while. But I think there's something people are forgetting about when it comes to the automation of labor. It has to correspond to the profit motive. Meaning that in history, any time there's been an automation of labor, it's been because it was cheaper than using human labor. But over the past 17 years or so, about the early 2000s, we've seen a serious stagnation of wages, meaning the cost of labor has remained relatively the same, has not increased with inflation or any other measures. But by that same token, we've also seen the rate in the automation of labor decrease at the same time. Why? Because the cost of labor has remained relatively the same. Now, this is where Donald Trump comes in. Let's say we live in a parallel universe where Trump actually keeps his election promises and he manages to actually bring the jobs back. You know, he bans them from going to Mexico or China or wherever, wherever else. Now, suddenly the cost of labor in the commodity production industry is going to go up. You know, 15, 20, 30 cents an hour in China or a minimum wage of, say, $10 in the United States. That's an astronomical increase in the cost of labor. And that might very well stimulate the next round of automation. But don't we see a kind of a paradox here? The more labor becomes expensive, the more automation is put in. As workers fight for higher wages, better compensation for the labor, etc., the much greater the rate and the eventual outcome of automating labor. So we see a bit of a paradox here. Or is it? If we stand by traditional bourgeois economics, it would seem that workers have to accept lower wages or they're going to just be put straight out of work. But I think it tells us something else. It tells us Marxists something. You need to do revolution. There's not going to be a solution within the bourgeois, legal, democratic institutions. It's going to take an entire revolution, a reorganization of society, to escape this effect. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.